Hey everyone, it's Eric here from My525XL, just giving you another update on my tank today. Uh, it is August 22nd, almost done August, a little, little scary. <laughs> uh, summer has whizzed by as usual. Um, nothing really uh, stupendous to talk about today. The only thing I am concerned about is uh, my six line rasp there. I don't know if you can see, he's getting really, really, really chubby. Now. I am feeding twice a day, I have been for probably eight, nine, ten months, so I'm just wondering if he's kind of uh, filling up, but uh, honestly, he looks, I don't know, uncomfortable. Let me know your thoughts. I know they'll eat whatever you put in there pretty much in terms of food for any of the fish. Uh, he just seems really, really chunky. I've um, been noticing that for the last little while, but uh, I don't know, it just stuck out to me today when I was feeding at lunchtime. But uh, other than that, everything else is okay. Um, you'll notice I still have the finger leather coils in there, which will be going away in the near future. Just working on some details for the folks that are going to take these off of my hands. Um, and then hopefully I will see some changes in terms of growth for the uh, acros up there. You notice the one in the middle actually is branching out quite a bit uh, in all directions. Uh, the bird's nest to the left, um, not doing too badly. It's getting more branches there. But the pistachio acropora on the right is really not doing anything. So I know I've had comments in the past about uh, keeping the leathers and the acros. They don't get along, chemical warfare, and I've had a few confirmations in the past posts. So I'm going to take that step, uh, see how that goes. My only concern is, I don't know if you can see him in there, but I have a clownfish, a percula clown. He's been a member of my tank for... I'm going to say 11 years, I think. He is the sole survivor from my original tank when I started. Um, so I'm hoping that doesn't stress him out because he won't have anything to host. Um, yeah, these guys are not getting along today. Uh, <clears throat> so anyway, we'll see how that goes. Um, I'm hoping he's okay, though. Uh, the rest of the stuff is doing okay. My torch coral's pretty happy. The um, Favia is doing well, seems to be spreading down on the rock pretty slowly, but nevertheless spreading. The Recordia is looking nice and full, um, and the Green Leather is fine. The Duncan's pretty full too, I need to get around. That'll be my next uh, project after I get rid of those leather corals, is to try and get him fragged. Um, green Hairy Tip Mushroom is fighting for real estate with the GH GSP. I do notice um, my Eagle Eye Zoas there and the Zoas here. Uh, you can see an Astorana Starfish right there. I think they are chomping on the Zoas and I need to do something. I think, I know I talked about it in the past, I'm not a real big fan of um, getting a Harlequin shrimp and then letting it starve to death, but I think I will get one. I do have a sand sifting star in here somewhere. Uh, I'm going to put him in the bottom of the sump while the Harlequin does his job, and then once he's done, I'll see if I can sell him or trade him in back to the LFS for a credit or something. I just don't want it to starve to death. That's no way to go. Um, other than that, everything else is pretty cool. Uh, down below, not much change. Still running the skimmer at night, and the torque, sorry, the skimmer during the day off at night, and the NIOS torque has carbon in there to run at night and off during the day. I still have the CO2 media. Uh, coming through the uh, air intake for the skimmer and I am still dosing uh, Alpha Reef and I'm also dosing potassium. Those are the two elements that I am dosing currently. Um, I think I've mentioned Alpha Reef I'm going to stick with now. It seems to be it just agrees with me and my tank or my tank not me. Uh, so I'm going to keep going with that and then the potassium has really helped out on the color for the, the green leather. Um, the most, I think. So I'm going to keep dosing that. I think it's like seven mils a day. Nothing, nothing crazy. So, um, other than that, everything's pretty cool. Uh, I can't say there's uh, any major projects coming up on the tank other than um, taking those leather corals out, and then we'll see how everything goes. I just hope it doesn't cause any swings and something, and then I start going all over the place in terms of parameters. But uh, we'll see. Um, I will post my water parameters here once I do them. Um, but everything seems to be quite stable, so pretty happy. Anyway, that's it for me for today, August 22nd. I hope all you guys are out there uh, are staying safe and your tanks are doing well and prosperous. Um, drop some thoughts, if you don't mind, on that six-line RAS. Uh, <laughs> I'm not sure what to, uh, what to think there. I think he's just gouging and, on the food, but, um, man, he just looks so big. Anyway. 
Um, hope you guys stay safe. Feel free to leave your comments or questions down below. I'll respond as soon as I can. And until we chat again, happy reefing.